Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand-up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand-Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand-up anymore. Two kings. One crown, the championship of comedy with the original king, Steve Harvey. This ain't the radio show. And the king of underground comedy, Cat Williams, in his last comedy stand-up performance. I don't know what Hillary was thinking. She thought she was just going to inherit the minority vote. Wait a minute, we don't know you like that. Don't miss Steve Harvey and Cat Williams in his final stand-up performance. New Year's Eve in the show. Tickets on sale now. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to you. Because you didn't have to accept this. You could have just said, no, I'm not going to do it. You have been the king of comedy as long as we've had one. Matter of fact, the whole phrase, king of comedy, can be attributed to you. And I'm honored that you would allow me to say the same stage as you. And I don't know why people made this a championship bout. I don't know why you was okay with that. And I want to apologize for what's going to happen. Who is this nigga? But the second that you Jim get Jones. on stage, the second that you get off stage, I need you to understand that that's your final time <laughs> as the king of comedy. What the fuck? Water seeks its own level. You can't stop it, playboy. It is what it is. <laughs> so I hope you're ready. I hope you got a team of writers. You're going to need about six or seven of them. Wow. They're going to need a couple cups of coffee. They're probably going to need some illegalities. But the one thing that's not going to happen, you're not going to beat me. It's not possible. The only thing you could do is forfeit. And I know you must have been happy when it looked like Cat Williams wasn't going to show up. But any time you count me out, you miscounted. I think you understand that. I want you to tell your people. I want you to put it on your radio station. I want you to let them know that this is a fight you can't win. And that they shouldn't expect it. And maybe you'll get on stage and maybe you'll tell people this is not a championship bout at all. Maybe you can pretend like this is just you handing off the crown to me. And then we can do it civilized. But I remember when you didn't even know who Cat Williams was. And you was on your radio station asking people, who is Cat Williams? It wasn't until you found out that you couldn't really handle me that you decided to be friendly with me. But as soon as you got the opportunity to think I was weak, oh, you got a little bass in your voice. Well, let me explain something to you. You can bring the nation. You can bring Rashawn McDonald. You can bring everybody who listens to your radio show. They gonna see the truth. And its name is Cat Williams. Consider yourself warned. I've always been cool with Cat. He uh, said in an interview that back in L.A. when I didn't know who he was, I mean, you know, I understand that I didn't know who he was when I was on the radio in L.A. You know, he hadn't been in any movies or anything. And, you know, the brother was just not that known, but he was talking about me in the club that I just asked on the radio whoever Cat Williams is to call me. He called me. You know, he straightened it out. We became friends. We've been cool ever since. So I thought, and now, you know, all of this here, man, but at the end of the day, here's the deal. When I get to Detroit New Year's Eve, I've done one thing for 23 years. Mm -hmm. I've, I've bred it. I put the butter on my bread with jokes for 23 years. Hollis, I have man. five DVDs out. And on now one of the DVDs, is it the same subject matter wow. or the same sentence wow. on five DVDs? Wow. So when I get to Detroit, man, I'm going to bring the same heat that I've been, and I got news for you. When I get to Detroit, I will tell no jokes that's on any of the five previous DVDs. Wow. I got another hour and a half. My granddaddy taught me this right here. Dog don't bark at parked cars. A dog only bark at a car that's moving and going somewhere. Sure. It is a common thing 
for a dog to bark up at the moon. But if the moon barks back at the dog, the dog becomes famous. Oh. I am where I am, and I, and I rest on my record. It's cool. I may not be what somebody think I ought to be. You know, I ain't, I ain't got all the movie credits or whatever. But, man, look at here. I'm in a great place. And so whatever anybody want to say, this is America, and you're free to say it. But one thing is for sure. I don't have to get up for New Year's Eve. All I have to go do is go and do what Steve Harvey been doing for 23 years and mm. do me. Oh. Now, there will be a layer of tar laid on the stage <laughs> that's going to be about eight inches thick. <laughs> that means it's up to and, oh. and you have to go out because, I mean, you know, man, it's like this. I've worked with some of the greatest acts. Jamie, we were talking one day. Yes. Me and you were standing on stage after the first Def Jam. Yes. Me, you, Rock. Martin Lawrence, Damon Wayans, J. Anthony Brown, Cedric the Entertainer, D.L. Hughley, the late, great Bernie Mac. You know, all the earthquake, all of these great acts, man. I've been sharing the stage with these types of cats my whole career, man. I, I toured with one of the greatest tours of all time. So mm. any anybody want to work with me, man, I'll work with you, man. But let's be brothers about it and go out here and make this money. That's all we should be doing. I'm not a rapper, dog. You you ain't got to threaten me, and I ain't got to be threatening you. You go do you, I'm going to do me. And on New Year's Eve in Detroit, it's going to be on and cracking when I get out there. Now, I wish everybody well on the show. I wear white clubs. I do clean. I do dirt. I do Christian. I do white. I do black. I'm able to adapt and, and go about my business. I had three TV shows on the air, man. I, I'm, I'm good with my record. So, you know, I, 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 I feel sorry, man, that, uh, to, uh, or that the brother didn't turn it into this, because I certainly didn't, man. And I, I'm going to try to stay on the high road. You know, I want to say something crazy, but I can't call You can, Steve. Please, please can. say something crazy. Nobody. I ain't done it in 23 years. I, I can't allow anybody to talk me off my game. Right. Look, man, when the people pay their money in Detroit, listen to me. I'd have sold out the Fox three times in one weekend. Mm. Wow. I've, I've, been, I've been to every joint in Detroit when it was just Ain't B's Comedy Kitchen with yes, downtown sir. Tony Brown. Wow. I was the opening night of All Jokes Aside in Detroit. I've been going to Detroit for years. When I get there, they know what I do. When I get to Detroit, I'm going to just keep doing me. I'm a joke teller. I'm a mm. storyteller. That's wow. how I earn. I don't care if you give me a radio show or TV show. Eventually, they're going to get these jokes, and it's because of the jokes. That's what I write. And on New Year's Eve, in spite of having a DVD that's in stores right now for your Christmas stocking stuffing pleasure. <laughs> it's out right now in stores, and it's a hot seller. On New Year's Eve, when I get to the joke, I will not say now one of them jokes, not the same subject matter, nor sentence. I can stand there an hour and a half. I'm going to be respectful and do about an hour, no more than an hour ten. Mm. So people can get two hours of comedy. And so when I get there, I'm going to do an all-new show then. Then I'm going to walk off. I'm going to go to my dressing room, and I'm going to start eating my dinner. <laughs> now, first I got an email and then I got the interview and then I mean since then it's been a flood you know I've had radio personalities from Detroit calling me Steve will you come on the radio and respond and I told everybody no you know I haven't called a single radio station you know I, I got supposed to do some drops for the show in Detroit but I haven't had a single interview about it uh, this week earlier in the week was the first time when Jamie came on the show and I was really you know man just a little bit surprised cause you know like uh you know, she asked me earlier, I mean, 23 years, I've never had anything like this happen. I have no choice but to take this road because I've been on the same road for 23 years. I can't let nobody talk me off of nothing I've been doing because the way I've been doing been working for me. I wish everybody well, but I'm going to do me New Year's Eve. And when I walk off New Year's Eve, if, if as long as I do what I've always done, for the people that paid their money, when I walk off... They're going to say Steve was a badass boy that night. 
And then after that, I'll let the chips fall where they will or may. Looking at my Gucci, it's almost that time. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to get to Detroit. I know what you heard. I know what people been saying. I promise you, they over-exaggerated. <laughs> I am on my way. And if you like me, you should be there. And if you don't like me, you should be there. To be honest with you, Frankie, yeah, I didn't I didn't know nothing about this concept. When the promoter told me about it in October, I shot it down. Because that ain't how I've ever promoted a show. You know, I've always been on tour with with, with some real monsters, man. I toured yeah. with the Kings. You know, I've been on stage with Sid, DL, and Bernie Mac at the same time. It's always been a camaraderie. Right. You know what I mean? We're going out here to give the people the best show we can give them. And that's the way we've always promoted comedy shows. Now, you know, to turn this into some type of little beef, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't how I do. Now, you know, I done heard all of the YouTubes and I done heard all the interviews and all like that. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know, you want to sell a ticket like that, knock yourself out. You've sold out concerts. You both have had huge gate receipts. You, you've sold out concerts in this town for years. Hello. And it ain't finna be no different tonight. And I ain't never sold him out saying I was better than this one or that one. I just come in here on my own strip. And so tonight at the joke, I'm gonna do what I've been doing for 20 years. I've been coming to town. I Look, man, I came to Detroit when it was Ain't B's Comedy Kitchen. <laughs> I did the opening night of all jokes aside. That's right, I remember I done sold right that fox out. I can't tell you how many times. Yeah. So this is a little beef thing that everybody want to want to start because you want to make a name for yourself that's cool do you you ain't gonna do it right here though you you you, you ain't gonna build no reputation on Steve Harvey so I've been doing this a long time so now whatever you're gonna do is cool just do you going first you're going first okay. see it ain't you can't you can't really pick a headline but I prefer to go first and some some sometimes ego makes you want to be last I, don't, I ain't gotta have that I'm gonna do my same amount of time and walk off. Now, you do you. See, I have nothing to prove. All I got to do is keep being Steve Harvey that he's been for over 20 years yeah. of walking out there on stage yeah. and bringing that sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to bring it. And I'm going to do the same thing tonight. But, you know, when you hear all the chatter, you know, it, it, it kind of, you go... So it kind of hits you? Kind of like... I mean, it was a little unexpected. For what? Yeah. For what? But, you uh, know, like I always And we say, love you! Bro, look here. We little love dogs, you. Little dogs bark the most. <laughs> <laughs> okay now. <laughs> but now please understand that Rottweiler that got off the plane last night in Detroit. Rottweiler been walking around the casino. I've been in casino gambling. I've been talking trash. I've been at Motor City. I've been dapping bros all night. I've been gambling with people with coats on. And you and you know, and you one of those the Rottweilers, I don't know much about dogs, but you know the the, the caramel colored ones with the little pink nose? Yeah. The handsome Rottweiler. Yeah. Yeah. The, the big one. But he but when but when he barked though, see Here's, here's what my father taught me. The reason I ain't been coming into town getting all of this back and forth. Yeah. This is what my father told me a long time ago. Dogs don't bark at park cars. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? The car, they only bark at a car that's moving. <laughs> but now when you run your little ass over there and you... <laughs> And the car stop, you got to get right back up on your porch. Because that car now, the car might start up again. Don't get your little tail mashed. <laughs> but you know, it's like this though, Frank. You know, I always been real cool with Cat. You know, it, 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 it should have been like this. You know, yeah, if you're going to take that angle, yeah. what you should have did was call your boy up and say, hey, man, look. I'm just going to be selling some tickets. This how I'm going to do it. Yeah. You know, but let me know. Because if you're going to use my name as the stepping stone, mm -hmm. so you can, like he say, try to prove that he number one, you know, and you're going to use me hey, as... You're serious. You're, this isn't part of the whole stick. Uh, this isn't a... This isn't... This is What you're saying is not a part of the whole, you no. know, there's no script. Ain't no stick. Dog, if it's a stick, tell the other sticker. <laughs> Just tell me so I can play the stick with you. So I can, so I know what my job is. Right, right, right. I took my family on vacation. You know, I was out with my kids playing and stuff. You know, we've been hanging out. I come back, 
all this stuff on YouTube, all these interviews over Detroit, all these radio stations. I got family up here, friends. Yeah. You know, Steve, man, when you going to say something? I don't got to say nothing. I am the original Kings of Comedy. Right. That's, I can go with that right there. Right. Now, until you done sold them kind of tickets, move them numbers, and you done been on the stage with some more gorillas. See, it's cool when you've been the only gorilla gorillas. on stage. Yeah. But I've been on stage with more gorillas. Multi-gorillas. Mm. See, you ain't, if, to, to go behind Bernie Mac, mm. a person would really have to understand what it is to follow somebody that's out there ravishing mm. the crowd. I mean, Bernie used yeah. to walk out there, man, and B, B was one of them dudes that walked on stage and was just just like a... I mean, it was unbelievable. You, you know, we used to all sit backstage on the Kings and watch Bernie every night. Because we used to say, man, let's go out here and watch this train wreck. Because Bernie just took his train and drove it into you. Now, whether you liked it, cared for it, felt it or not, mm -hmm. Bernie took his train, drove it off the tracks into your house. Okay. And Bernie Mac... So, I've been on stage every night with these dudes. When you've been the only giant on the stage, and you got to share a stage with another giant, there should be a sense of humility about that. There should be a sense of respect. And right now, it just ain't no respect. You understand? Mm -hmm. So now, I don't wait until the last day to say what I'm saying, but it's just respect, brother. Look, I ain't mad at you for getting yours. Get yours. You you got a good, good little career going. Go and get it. But you got to get this little career going about 20 years. Everybody hot is, is like this here. You can have a hot plate of food at Christmas, or you can have a warm meal all year long. Now, which uh -huh. one you want? I thought we was cool. I give him love every time, had him on my show every time. But if you're going to do another stick, just tell the brother that you're sticking with. Dog, so I'm going to be dogging you on the radio. But it's just, we just move and pick it. Then we can go in the huddle and go let it break. But now, don't just do it. Then I come to town and I hear about it. Because then tonight, now I'm just going to do what I do. I don't say nothing negative. My show is my show. All right. Two kings. One crown. The championship of comedy with the original king, Steve Harvey. This ain't the radio show. And the king of underground comedy, Cat Williams, in his last comedy stand-up performance. I don't know what Hillary was thinking. That she thought she was just going to inherit the minority vote. Wait a minute. We don't know you like that. Don't miss Steve Harvey and Cat Williams in his final stand-up performance. New Year's Eve in the show. Tickets on sale now. Pope died Friday. They had another one next Friday. Ain't no more loopers. I wish they stopped doing up at the church. Stop bringing them kids to church. Dropping them off. Sit them on the pew right next to you so you can check them. I said, shut up. Shut up. Just like, and, and be happy. Would you mind signing an autograph for my son? And so I go out there. I said, where at? She said, Bobby, would you come here for a moment? Hey, bite me, mom. But Bobby, look who's here. I said, bite me, mom. Standing there wasn't doing nothing. Bet not never in your black life tell me to bite you. I get off the phone, my wife there. My wife beautiful, but never been this happy in my life. I never have known this. She is the most beautiful thing ever happened to me. I got off the phone, she said, Steve, I really think you should go to the wedding. We go to the wedding. This ghetto, raggedy ass wedding, the colors they chose was chocolate brown and mint green. None of the women went to the same store. It was mint green, lime green, money green, emerald green, yo green, her green, and two of her girlfriends as dancers. Oh, no, 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 not Alvin Ailey dancers. I'm talking about, come on, this damn pole, pole, stripper. Now they coming up the aisle just advertising. This ghetto, raggedy ass wedding. You ain't got no money for no reception. Now she done made bologna sandwiches and cut them up each sandwich into 32s. And the stuck toothpicks down in each one of them. We got to walk around the table eight times to make a damn sandwich. This raggedy ass wedding. Two kings. 
One Crown, the championship of comedy. Steve Harvey and Cat Williams in his final stand-up performance. New Year's Eve in the Joe. Tickets on sale now. Shit. But then the nigga couldn't sell out 
the tickets necessary. <laughs> Damn. Do you think that nigga wanted to be here with me this evening? No, he did not. He wanted to be with Frankie and Beverly and Mays. Okay. 